guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing my everyday makeup routine I thought it'd be quite interesting to do this kind of video so you can all see what I do on an everyday basis if I am wearing makeup most of the time I don't bother wearing makeup because I'm rather just sleep to be honest so it's very simple it's just like a nice flawless base in wing eyeliner and a bold lip which I usually do all the time if I am going for this nice everyday kind of makeup look so let's go ahead and get started with the video So I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base and this is just so my makeup will stay on all day. So I'm going to apply that all over my face, like my T-zone area mostly and then spread it around to the rest of my face. For my foundation, I'm going to be going in with this Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation. It's got SPF 20 in the shade. 402 bronze. So I'm gonna be using my B makeup sponge today. So I'm just bouncing that on my skin, make sure everything is nice and blended. So this foundation is like medium to full coverage, so it is good for an everyday kind of wear, nothing too heavy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my second pump. For my concealer today, I'm going to be going in with this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Medium. And I'm just going to be putting this under my eyes and then on my forehead, on my cupid's bow and on my chin. And I'm just taking my sponge and blending it out once again. Just a little bit more under the eye just to help brighten it up and conceal it a bit more. So back under my eyes, I'm going to be going in with this L'Oreal um, Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. And it's just in transparent. I'm using um, a Real Technique sponge that's dry and just going to bake under my eyes. You need to make sure to always like dab out your creases and your eyes with your sponge first. Because if you set your creases, then it's just going to look really weird all day. And then I like to bring it on like my smile lines as well. Because I do crease quite a bit there. And to take some of my eyelids as well. Make sure they don't crease up today because I have quite oily eyelids. For the rest of my face, I'm just taking this Revlon Color Stay Powder in the shade Light Medium. I'm just going to be patting this on the rest of my face, which I didn't bake. Like usually if I'm at work with this makeup on, I don't need to touch it up. The only thing is like my nose does get um, a little bit oily, but apart from that, nothing moves throughout the day. So what I'm going to do now is start bronzing. So I'm going to go in with my Hoola Bronzer from Benefit. take this on my nose as well yeah, I can't even go out nowadays if I'm wearing makeup without having to put a little bit of bronzer on my nose and I'm going to take like this kind of fluffy contour brush and just put the bronzer all around like my forehead as well I always move on to highlighter so my highlighters always change like all my products always change but today I decided to use the Mary Luminizer because I haven't used it in ages it's just this one here I'm taking on this highlighter brush from B which is a Superdog um, own brand and I always use um, a setting spray so I'm just using my L'Oreal Impalable one And I always use so much highlighter because I love it so much. I just take a fluffy blending brush like this one. This is just my NYX 17 brush. And I highlight to my nose. It's like the tip of my nose. And then in the middle here. And then down the bridge. For my blush today, I'm going to be using this Rimmel one in the shade Live Pink. Oh, 
and I'm going to go ahead and set my face with my L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. So give it a huge shake. I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. I use this um, Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 4. And I go in with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and this is in the shade Medium Dark. I'm going to brush through my brows and fill them in as I usually do. So that is one eyebrow done. You can actually see the difference and how much eyebrows really make a difference to your face shape. So that's my eyebrows done now. So I'm going to go on to my wing eyeliner. That's the main thing I always need to have. Even if it's an everyday kind of makeup, I always need to have a wing eyeliner without a doubt. Maybelline Liner Express um, eyeliner. So I'm just going to do a normal wing. And I do have a, a wing eyeliner routine as well that I'll link down below. So I just create like that outer line and then just bring it in. So that's a pretty thick liner. Uh, there's not like a specific one I do. Sometimes I do a thin one, a thick one. It's just basically what happens during the day. And also like, today. It's a thick one. I'm going with this Avon Super Shock Gel Eyeliner and put that in my tight line. I'm going with this L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Extra Black Mist Mascara. There's not really much of an explanation for mascara, just put it on. I usually do about two layers of mascara just because one layer doesn't seem enough for me usually. I'm going with this Bariam coat pencil in just a white one. Any white pencil will do and just putting that in my waterline. Now moving on to my lips. I'm going to use a new lip product that I've only used once. Revolution, Makeup Revolution um, lip kit. So it came with like two things. Um, a lip pencil and a liquid lipstick. I'm just going to use the liquid lipstick. And usually for my lips, I go for different things, different colours, just whatever I feel that day, I just do. I've been doing like um, a brown lip quite often, so I thought I would use this one today because this is just new. I am finished. So this is the finished makeup look, which I love so much because I just once I have my makeup done like this, I'm like, this is me. This is how I feel comfortable, especially with a dark lip. I'm all about dark lips, just like any kind of lip to be honest. It has to be red or brown or something fun and out there and not boring, not perfect, and it never is perfect, but. I feel like it's good enough for me and it's good enough for an everyday kind of makeup look. So I hope you all really enjoyed this video and you kind of learned something a little bit about me so now you know what I do as like my everyday kind of makeup and makeup that I do on YouTube is pretty much so I can experiment and have fun and I love makeup so much. Um, please don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on all my social media which is Valerie Stormer for Instagram and Twitter and Makeup by Valerie Stormer for Facebook. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you again later. Bye guys.